Hello everybody, I have some truly exciting news for you guys. A new ready to run player has entered the market. Are you ready for this? Okay, check it out. Do you know the brand? It is Vanquish and it is the Vanquish VS410 Phoenix RTR ready to run. And I'm just gonna give you the punchline right here. When you see this package, when you see how it's equipped, and when you see the price, it may just very well be the best RTR competitor in the market today. And now you see the thing in action. In this video, we're gonna talk about what makes this thing special. And then we're gonna take it on our test rock course to see how it compares to other vehicles we've run here before. And then we'll do pros and cons, of course. No vehicle is perfect. And then we are gonna go on a quick course, a real beautiful trail run. And the links for this vehicle will be in the description. Amazingly, the vehicle is going to be available today at the date of release, but it might sell out. So make sure you check our description if you are into this Dude, one, right? This is Enjoy. amazing. Them's fighting words, huh? But check it out. Here it is. The packaging is incredible. The very nice graphics, a lot of accessories included, ready to run. It's got motor, electronics, radio. It has, it's ready for uh, selectable dig. It's ready for selectable overdrive. The VS410 as we know it is right here and it's in a package. I think that's ideally suited to, to get you going and give you some options at an amazing price. Uh-huh, same body comes in two different colors, gray and red. I upgraded the, the rims, that's the only thing that's changed here and the motor inside. It's got a lot going for it. It was specced by people who know what they're doing. They're trying to minimize the amount of throwaway parts that uh, you get in an RTR and get you upgrading right away, meaning adding stuff, not taking away and, and spending a lot of money. So I'll cut to the chase and get to the price. The price, when I, after I ran it, I talked to Brandon Coons, lead engineer on, on this project, and I said, ah, Brandon, if you can get that, if you can get that at 549, you're gonna sell a lot of it, you know, cause that's kind of where the, the cream of the crop is, 549, and Vanquish is coming from 800, 1,000. So I, I know it's a tall order. And then um, my buddy says, man, if, it, if that's 499, it's over. And finally, I texted Brandon, Brandon, tell me the price. And he goes, $4.79, $4.79. So $4.79, at that price, you're now below Traxxas, all the Broncos and, and the Chevy Blazers. You're now much below the Gladiator. I think that's $5.20. And the SEX10 3JLU, $500. And uh, you know, Red Cat is at $400. And then Element RC, I believe, is at $4.00. 40 with their, with their trail runner. One of the most revered brands in, in crawlers will be right there, <laughs> slipping in under the, the price of, of the big guys and coming up with better quality. So I've had, this is my fourth VS410. I believe I had my, my original, my OG right here with multiple channel, it's still going. I have the Speed Phoenix right here and the Speed Phoenix really made me a believer of, of the Vanquish chassis because, you know, my thing went 73 miles an hour. But the amazing thing is a couple guys, uh, cool dudes, uh, Tom Lee RC and Western Desert Wheeler, basically did touch their, their vehicles. Their, you know, they, did, <laughs> they just put a hot motor in there and they, it went like 70 miles an hour. So this is a burly, burly drivetrain from motor to the axles and the chassis as well, because we're gonna crash it, right? And uh, it, it, it took the hits. But anyway, before I get uh, too excited, let me just uh, run it for you. Here is the servo. This is running 7.4 volts right now. Stock servo. I just upped the voltage a little bit. And right now I have a, a, a hobby wing. But it's got that, that crazy, uh, crazy good steering angle of a Vanquish. Check it out. 
So my modulation now is really good with a you know $150 upgrade and it's as smooth as ever. What's controlling it is this radio. This radio is really cool. Look at that, digital, right? Four channels on this one. Uh, it's got a, a very smooth steering wheel, nice foam to it, uh, and, and really good modulation, good feel. You know, I would say, hey, you don't have to upgrade this right away. Then it's four channel because the car is four channel. Okay, it's adjustability right here. And it's got that traditional swivel mount that they have. So you have a couple body pins here at the bottom, and then boom. And one thing you'll notice is there's no uh, uh, paneling out here uh, that you find on the normal Vanquish kit. And then there's no interior as well. Okay, so there you go. Opens a little bit. And very clean, very Vanquish. And what you'll notice, what I want to show you is there's no dig servo and there's no overdrive servo but you know should you want one should you want those options it's ready for it all you need to do is buy some servos and the servos you need are they don't have to be high-end they're full size they could be fairly you know fairly average servos you know it's not a high demand situation because the their mechanisms are, are really good and you have you have a couple channels here that are ready for it i think one here and then one here so the motor they equip it with is right here. It's a, they call it a BM1. It's a, just a decent 540 motor. And the ESC that they have is the Hobbywing 10, 1060 ESC. I believe it's like a $25 ESC as opposed to the $40 ESC, the 1080, which we all know and love. So not bad. They are definitely competitive with all the RTRs out there. You know, that, that ESC is better than, than what you see on most others in the market. Something really cool are these tires. So these tires come stock. These are the Vanquish Falcon Wild Peaks and they are pretty incredible. So they are the best looking RTR tire available for sure. And they do perform. They are so soft and gummy that they, they, they got it going on. I mean, I'm gonna do a shootout. I think it's probably the best performing RTR tire available today but they do have a weakness which i'll tell you about in a minute everything is well sorted i said hey brandon it's it's kind of high to me uh, even even with the with the sag and it's all backed out already and he says oh we we give you different shock holders uh to to lower the vehicle so you know you'll get a little less tire clearance but you uh you know we give you that option so i replaced the motor with a hobby wing Fusion Pro, I think it's a great match for this vehicle. It fits, all you need to do is you need, just need to trim a little plastic piece there. Okay, we're gonna start you off with a rock course test. Tried and true. We'll see how this measures up. There's the first line right here. This little bump. Didn't need a lot of wheel speed. And it's able to grip. Conditions are clean, but a little mossy. Does well, that left rear tire folds over but it seems fine, just doesn't look good. And descending with this ESC is a little bit, you know, it's braking while you're braking, but as soon as you let it go, it, it, it slides. So, gotta watch it. And then here's a little power climb. You can only do this power climb if you uh, have good balance. And here is the wall of doom right here. And right there, the front tire is lift. Shows you that the vehicle is a little bit heavy and not too forward weighted. Four attempts and we finally got a little smooth line going. And it did well. And then nice steering gets it through that bend. And this is the extreme side hill that we have. And a few attempts back and forth not able to do it so just a little heavy body maybe the tires don't have enough foam support maybe the shocks are a little light so we'll come back but uh, none of the RTR vehicles are ever, ever able to do that here is a climb 
we just did a lot of trail truck testing right here testing these tires and the balance uh, it's at the limit but he was able to do it like I said this is not a lightweight body and it's not very low but uh, it does well right here the great steering it's able to really get an angle on this look at that servo it's able to turn the vehicle even with full weight on it not bad there's a uh, steep little climb the belly is clean so we get through no hang-ups right there that was that looked too easy and then here is the technical rock course with a lot of hang-ups right there you need good bumpers approach and departure and just to do this here the belly hangs up everything hangs up but it's really able to do it very impressive uh, when the going gets technical and right here that's a tough little step up and then you gotta make a super tight left turn steering angle of this vehicle comes into play you know if you had selectable overdrive or selectable dig this is probably the place to do it but we're able to play with the servo steering servo uh, and uh, it gets it going so you know you don't have to upgrade the servo right away you know just maybe the ESC 1080 up the voltage to 8.4 volts and it'll be stronger than what you see here so right here we go the other way and pretty good modulation with the stock vehicle not as torquey so you had to buy a little bit of motor but we're able to manage oh right there side hill test he will do it oh a little pivot there has a nice slider on this thing I don't know why I'm going so slow oh a little hang up on the links but it's able to do it look at that articulation look at that flex on this vehicle and so we're pretty impressed one of the best performances on the rock course test of ours. Okay, so let's go pros and cons, or I go cons and pro, uh, because there's not a lot of cons really. Uh, you know, the first con is the body. You know, this is already the, like the third or fourth packaging of this vehicle, so it would have been nice to see a different body. This body was cool when it first came out on that vehicle but it's a little played out a little not a lot you could do with it uh, anymore so it would have been nice to see an, uh, a, a different body because it's not that easy to change this body you know you, without going to body posts which is uh, which would be a shame if you had to do that okay but it, it is a $150 body if you bought it separately so it is a very detailed body and I like the choices where they took out the paneling and in, in, in the interior um, to save costs the second weakness is the foam. So the wheels, it came with our bead locks. Can't fault that. It, but it is hard to put add weight to that one. Uh, the, the brass rings they have are not compatible. The tire is awesome, no doubt. But it's a very soft, soft sidewall. And this thing is too narrow. So what you'll see a lot is it looks kind of square, the tire. Now, now my tire looks normal. Looks kind of ha has a little budge to it. It looks like a real Falcon Wild Peak tire. So it looks unnatural with this foam and it folds over under load especially on the rear and you'll see that a lot of my videos it's like kind of annoying go oh, man is that thing gonna tear so i quickly changed this to a proline dual stage foam which is a perfect fit perfect fit for 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 this guy so another weakness is it is kind of heavy you know um because you are getting the full-on drivetrain with with uh, all the gearing for overdrive and dig. If you don't want that, you know, you're, you're paying a little weight because all the gears are in there already. The body as well, it is, it is a fairly heavy body, you know, so if you wanted to compete with a base camp or a TRX4 Sport uh, that are super minimalist vehicles, uh, maybe that'll hold it back a little bit, but it does hold its own, you know, beautiful bumpers. The shock oil is a little light, uh, they told me it's a 30 it would have been nice to have maybe a 50 or higher 
uh, but that's easier to change if you are into that. But you, you know, for RTR, you, most people are not going to uh, change it from, from what it is baseline, uh, how it comes. And then <laughs> one nit is really bothering me now. It, I loved this before, don't get me wrong. The way this thing opens is not that wide. <laughs> like, ah, it's just not enough to work on. So people trim this just so they can make, make it open wide. If you wanted to get the, uh, the body out, there's a shaft uh, with a body clip. So you gotta, gotta deal with a body clip and then you gotta thread that shaft in and there's a certain slot that it aligns with. It was cool before, but now I see the red cat. The red cat, it's better to have a rear swivel anyway. It's easier to work on. And uh, the red cat, at a certain point, it just comes off. Just so smart uh, compared to this. So that's a, just a little minor thing because uh, also the, when you see the Traxxas uh, clipless body mount, you know, it, then you see the kind of the weaknesses of, of a mounting system like this. This, this part two always gets, gets caught when you're, when you're putting the body in, so you have to pay attention to it. So that's the cons. Okay, let's get to the pros. The pros, number one, Vanquish quality, Vanquish reputation, Vanquish support, upgradability, it's all there. So, no, <laughs> can't doubt that. The number two is the price. The price, they hit it out of the park. $479, you know, right when everyone's raising their prices, they lower their prices and they introduce something like this. It is just, it's just an amazing feat, and I think they are going to reap the benefits. Because once someone gets this, then they want to upgrade to the wheels, upgrade to the, uh, they have brass now, they have upgrade to the, the alloy here and there. Then they're into the Vanquish family. Because once you try a Vanquish, you kind of have a tendency to get hooked in. Because you, you don't know the quality until you see it, until, until you, you, you feel that. So uh, in, it's, just, it's just a riddle to me how they're able to offer this at 479 when the, the kit is 400 you know? It's not $80 for a remote motor, ESC, uh, you know, blinged out tires and everything. How did they do it? Uh, please let me know in the comments. Next plus is it's a well-sorted, well-balanced vehicle, amazing drivetrain, and amazing steering. So, look at that. You know, this, the only rival to this steering radius is the TRX4. Um, and I think this one will compete because it comes naturally with overdrive, you know, 6% overdrive is what it comes stock with. So it's got an amazing steering radius. The, the, um, the drivetrain is so smooth and then it is firm. Look at that, it just, some vehicles, they move like two inches either way. And that's really what costs you when you're on top of a hill and trying to, to do some, some fun stuff. Another plus is the upgradability path is so there because it already has dig and it already has over, uh, selectable overdrive. Just drop in a servo and you are in. So that is a definite plus. Um, and then I would say another plus is the, just the performance. You'll see this perform. This is in straight axle version. You know, if you want portal, maybe they'll come out with it. Beg, borrow, steal. Email them and say you want one. And the fact that it's offset, I think adds a lot to, uh, you tend to naturally center the rocks and this is the thing already offset. So it, it just doesn't get, get hung up a lot. And the fact that it's plastic means it's gonna perform plastic with not a lot of sharp edges. So enjoy the running video. We'll do a lot more with this. My next video will be the five best upgrades for this thing. You already see the, the wheels and the motor ESC. But, you know, it's a good day. It's a good day for us hobbyists. And I think it's gonna be awesome for, for the hobby. They'll see the quality of Vanquish and it'll bring a lot more people into the Vanquish umbrella. Uh, but now you see my trail running video, this thing dominated. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, we go to the forest and the very first obstacle is very difficult. Right there, you gotta straddle those rocks and then you gotta somehow perch over. And that was just an amazing move. Just a little wheel speed, not a lot. And then see if we do it right there. So this vehicle now has been upgraded with Vanquish Speedlock wheels and the brass ring in front. 
and a Hobby Wing 1080 Dude, Fusion Pro. This is amazing. So the servo got a little voltage boost as well. But so check it out. This is this is gnarly. It's just, as it claws its way in slow speed, the tires are performing really well. I think what happened to the tires too is they're better supported on the sides, but they also conform a little better. Dual stage foam is really key for these. So you don't see them fold over anymore. Right there, sliders come into play. Nice uh, conformi conformity with the tires. And right there, it goes on a little steep. Little creek. Press me. All right, now we're gonna do a gnarly descent. So I'm enjoying, I'm loving the Phoenix Fusion Pro right here, right there. So much braking, and then even when I get on throttle, it, it's not running away from me. Right there, as you can see, you're on throttle, but it's not speeding up. It's just exactly moving as much or as little as you want it here in the roots. It just sits. This vehicle just sits. Has some good weight to it. Good modulation. Not a lot of play. So, quite impressive. Alright, we'll get a little wet. These tires are not dented. So all good. So very, very, very impressed. It's RTR, but it's set up like how we would do our vehicles. You know, like a $700 build. You get it for $479. So, pretty cool. Next video we have. We are going to talk about the five best upgrades for this vehicle. You already see the first two, the, the wheels with brass and the motor. But uh, we'll have some fun with it, you know, maybe a different body, maybe some lights. Um, you know, really see the potential of this vehicle. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. This just might be the best RTR on the market now at 479, you know, price considered. Price not considered might still be the best. You know, the Bronco I say is the other significant player, the 2021 Bronco, but this is a good one and we're so happy for Vanquish to um, make their vehicles more attainable without really harming the quality of their brand. They're just getting more people under the umbrella to enjoy the Vanquish products. All right, thanks a ton, everybody. Links are in the description for this vehicle available now.